Hey folks, this video is very important. I urge you all to share it with your friends, download it, mirror it, do whatever you like with it. You own the rights to it. Even better, make your own videos, do your own investigations, and speak out because now is the time to stand against the agenda that is being pushed. Whether you're from the white English community or the British Muslim community, the migrant community, wherever you're from, you need to speak out because now is the time. The things that are planned for this country are nothing for short of race wars and divide and conquer, divide and rule. They have done this throughout the ages. They're old tactics and they're how they're so successful in controlling the many. Again, folks, as I say in the other videos, you cannot blame the actions of the few at the top on the many or the whole nation. That is the exact mentality that they have been pushing and that is how they're so successful at continuing this. What I'm looking at here is two videos, one from a guy that's in Liverpool, United Kingdom, and he's making some serious threats to all Muslims about going in, bombing mosques, and cutting the heads off, and just causing absolute carnage. He's definitely brainwashed by the likes of the rebel media, Tommy Robinson, and all the far-right nationalists that are pushing this divide at the moment. But folks, when you go and break down who's controlling these groups, it's also clear that they are the same Zionist string pullers that are funding and controlling all the wars, and they're all tied into the secret societies pushing, divide, and conquer. And folks, this is at the higher, upper levels of the elite. It is compartmentalized, and a lot of the people within the police and the intelligence communities and the governments will have no clue which agenda they are serving because they are just as brainwashed as the guys carrying out these attacks. As are the guys in the alternative media that are now saying that all these events are hoaxes. It is set up that way to discredit the whole truth movement and deter you and misdirect you from the very real truth of the conspiracy. That our elitist scumbags have been funding and fueling all these wars as part of a bigger agenda to reshape the Middle East and bring down governments and players that don't support their agendas. It's clear for everybody to see if you just did the research. Especially you guys out there in the alternative media saying that nobody's died and these are hoaxes and this, that and the other, or arguing whether they're a false flag or, you know, genuine. You really do nothing but discredit the whole alternative media. Do yourselves a favor, realize that the very real agenda here being pushed by the Zionists is in full effect and the UK is on the brink of a race war, all controlled and all by design. Now I also urge people of the Muslim faith within the United Kingdom to also get active and start speaking out. I've seen two videos now from just after the London attacks, this guy here appears to be a, a, a Raki born guy who's uh, over in London near the attacks and he's actually laughing with his friends and saying screw your flag, this that and the other as he's walking down the side of the police cordons. This is the same base level mentality that is actually fueling the far right. They're both feeding off each other unbeknown to them and who is going to suffer at the end of it when all hell breaks loose. Everybody, folks. Doesn't matter where you're from. Bloody and violent uprisings are that. Bloody and violent. Innocent people will get killed. Two wrongs don't make a right. And it's about time we all stood up in the face of ignorance. And here is a great example of that very thing. Your mom's gonna die. Go save the world, don't hide in the why, car. Why, 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 this guy, this G, he's saying, go save the world, don't hide in the car. You're not fit for that. Yo. Your mum, you, you locked up in your bedroom. You're hiding underneath your duvet with your headphones on, yeah? Trying to shoot on Perry. Fam, why, why are you acting like a warrior in that, bro? Who is this kid? Three attacks. A gun in your lap. Police are on their way to park now. 
to the park. What park? Right? What, what park is this? It can. Kind of, like, kind of like how I laugh at all the civ 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 civilians dying in Syria and Iraq. Mashallah. You see? You see that kind of attitude? Can you see what other people on the other sides would be thinking of that automatically? And how you're just fueling into this whole thing? Even the guy there saying Allah Akbar and laughing when the guy's making the reference to him laughing at all the civilians being killed in Syria and Iraq. He meant that in a sarcastic way, as if to say that this very attack is justified. Two wrongs don't make a right, folks. You cannot, as I said before, blame the actions of the few at the top on the many, and it's about time everybody of all faiths and backgrounds stood together and called it out for what it really is. Because everybody is going to suffer. Not only do they want chaos on the streets of the UK, but they want a big, great war in the Middle East to final their agenda for the Greater Israel Project. That isn't a stab at all Jews, that is a stab at Zionists and the criminal empire that that is. There is plenty of Christian Zionists, there's even Muslim connections to Zionists through the House of Saud. The conspiracy runs very deep, folks. Call it Illuminati, Freemasonic, whatever you want. There is just so many different factions that are all working in cahoots with each other to bring about this very chaotic situation. As it states on the dollar bill, order out of chaos. And this is exactly what they're doing. Guys in the alternative media that are pushing this stuff as well and pushing the divide should actually be ashamed of themselves. And the evidence showing how there is Israeli involvement in the creation of ISIS and plenty of other terror factions is actually overwhelming. Seek and you will find. Also behind the far right nationalist agenda of the rebel media, people like Tommy Robinson who is pushing, attack all the Muslims, feeling the very same kind of mentality that we've seen from the first clip or the still from the clip. And also, he was actually in Israel at the back end of last year, being groomed for this very agenda that was building up. Folks, this is not a conspiracy. You are all being played, brainwashing on both sides. Even the very same jihadist, fundamentalist, however you want to put it, guys that are susceptible to brainwashing and joining these cults. They're all being played as part of a mass psychological operation. If there is people listening to this from the Muslim community, now is the time to speak out. I know that the majority of Muslims, especially in the UK, are absolutely disgusted with the actions of ISIS and radicalist extremists. There is just a very small minority, a small pocket of the young people that are being deceived and radicalised through propaganda and mass psychological operations. Yes, the West need to be held accountable, and I don't mean the whole West as in the whole nation, as I stated before. This goes down to the political elite and the guys in the secret societies that have been pulling the strings through decades, centuries and beyond. You cannot blame the actions of the few at the top, as I said before, on the many. There is plenty of people within the Western nations speaking out against the tyrannical governments, so going out and committing genocide on innocent civilians is really doing nothing but make those scars run even deeper. It's fueling in to the very same agenda. I know there's loads of great Muslims out in the world who are speaking out against ISIS and extremism. Their ultimate plans are to put everybody into categories. Pigeonhole everybody. And I know the ones that can see this now probably feel so alone in their fight for a better humanity amongst the bullshit. But I can see it too. And I know other people out there do have the intelligence to understand this, and I hope that people do come together. People will call me a leftist, they will say I'm pro-labour, I'm pro-this, pro-that. Folks, the whole system is a scam, the democracy scam. The left the right and everything in between are all being controlled by the same factions. Divide and rule folks. 
I really don't know, in this day and age, how people can't still see it. There needs to be a total overhaul of the political systems that we have today. How that is brought about, I don't know. Certainly not through violence and bloodshed. And certainly not through revolution, like some in the alt media are trying to push. Because with the revolution, you just revolve back to where you started, and you can see through history that most of the revolutions have been controlled, and there's been somebody at the top of the food chain that has gained from that very same outcome. I also want to commend the makers of this video, a Kuwaiti telecoms firm called Zain. I've seen this doing the rounds yesterday, and I actually shared it an hour before the terror attack actually happened in London. And it was quite eerie, to be honest. But it is a good example of how there is plenty of Muslims speaking out in the face of terrorism. Go and watch the video, folks, and go and share it with your ignorant friends, family, or whoever. And I don't mean that in a derogatory manner. We are programmed from an early age with ignorant slurs, racism, and all kinds of history that has usually been fabricated and falsified for deeper agendas that we're seeing play out today. It's time we educate the youth against this ignorant mindset. This goes out to all the people in the UK, as I said earlier, people of all backgrounds and faiths, especially the Muslim faith. Because right now, you have the minority on the English side in Britain actually calling for all-out war on the streets of Britain with all Muslims. The mainstream string pullers, like I said, are trying to demonise all Muslims as terrorists and it's about time that everybody stood up in the face of that and spoke out and showed unity. Do not be scared anymore to speak out folks. I understand that in these pockets and these minorities of the peoples with these mindsets it can seem like a gang mentality. Some of them are criminals and known gangsters who push this stuff. So I understand in your community there might be a certain sense of fear to actually speak out. But you have to do it covertly and get people together to do it, then do it. If you see people with these sentiments and this hatred towards everybody in the Western nations and especially people here in the UK, you need to put them straight and educate them that it's not all the people in the nation to blame for the choices and the manipulation of the masters at the top. We all need to stand together in the face of tyranny, terrorism, ignorance and corruption. If we don't evolve together as a species, however you want to look at it, and all start getting along, humanity is done. And to all those people saying humanity is done anyway and it's kind of a religious prophecy, don't give up, no matter what your faith is and what you believe. If that is the case, how do you know that those texts weren't there to trick you as a test, to see if you as a species could evolve past it and not submit to, well, oh well, the end of the world's coming, it's God's plan, so let's just give up. I don't believe that, folks. I believe we can do better. The possibilities are endless, folks. No matter what you believe, don't let it divide you. This is about control. Order out of chaos. Wake up.